Welcome back to the game, everybody. This is Robert from Black Belt Gaming, continuing the next turn. We've got to watch out. These pterodactyl thieves are on their way. It's time to start the new turn with the villains part of the turn. No start of turn effects at this point, so it's time to play the next villain card. And, uh, oh no. The mobile def uh, defense platform is back. Ten hit points, uh, it's a device, and we can't hurt the Baron until we take this thing down. So I guess his engineers got to work on it and fired that guy back up. So he is protected again. As we're entering into the uh, heroes part of the turn, I put these tokens aside. Uh, this is from the previous turn where I think with Legacy I neglected to take a point of damage for Baron Blade being a nemesis. So uh, I had to remove one point from Legacy. And then uh, instead of having 15 hit points, uh, Bunker's going to have 14. I think I neglected to remove a point uh, from the Obsidian Field for him. So. Uh, this is the correct value down here at the bottom. So let's start with uh, Legacy. Well, here's Legacy. Um, <clears throat> he's got 10 hit points. These cards are in play. We've got the damage reduced. We've got uh, increase in damage for all the other players, including Legacy. And then we've got this uh, ability to attack with a motivational charge. Cards in hand that remain unplayed. Uh, lead from the front, two next evolutions and one surge of strength. Let me think about this. I guess the best thing for me to play is this surge of strength. It's going to increase our damage uh, for legacy by another point. So we'll take another one of these tokens and put it here and then we'll put this in our stack of cards on the table and with the card now being played we move into power usage and I think we're gonna go with uh, motivational charge well since I really don't want those dinosaurs taking all of my equipment I think I'm going to have the motivational charge here uh, do two melee damage to those dinosaurs that's going to be boosted by another two for the power ups on legacy and boost it up one more point for the obsidian field so that's a total of five damage so with a motivational charge uh, legacy absolutely destroys the uh, the pterodactyl thieves before they can get to us because of the charge, uh, each of the heroes is going to gain one hit point. So I took one from Bunker. Bunker's going to go from 14 to 15. I guess Wraith here is going to go from 9 to 10. She needed that. And then we have Absolute Zero. Uh, he's going to go to 14. So absolute zero at 14. Well, let's draw a card for Legacy and get ready to end his turn. Flying Smash. It's a one-shot. Legacy deals up to three targets, three melee damage each. Well, that looks good. Looks like he's pounding the, uh, what is it, the defense platform. So uh, hopefully we can do that. Well, Bunker, with all of his equipment, is glad to see the uh, dinosaur thieves be taken out. Let's see what we can do with him. Start of the turn, nothing's going to happen, so we'll move in to play a card. We've only got one card in our hand. Adhesive Foam Grenade. Environment cards cannot be played until the start of your next turn. Well, we might as well. Let's go ahead and play this card. Um, 
and that's going to cancel any new environment cards coming into play for now. So this card is played. Now on to Bunker's power activation. Well, using his uh, flak cannon right there on his uh, arm, we're going to blast away and have Bunker do the defense platform 3 projectile damage. That's going to be boosted by 1 for the power up from Legacy and another 1 for the obsidian field. So that's going to be 5 damage bringing the platform down to uh, half putting it at five well now it's time to draw a card for bunker he doesn't have any in his hand right now and we have auxiliary power source it's equipment uh, at the start of your turn you may destroy this card to use an additional power or as a power uh, you can draw three cards, but then you must destroy this card. All right, so that might help us out a little bit by either giving us another power or some extra cards. That's in Bunker's hand. All right, Wraith is sitting there with ten hit points. Uh, she's kind of in the most trouble uh, health-wise. Razor Ordinance. We've got the targeting computer and this infrared eyepiece. The thing is, she just does such good damage, it's it's kind of hard for me to use that power instead of this one. But, start of the turn, uh, nothing's going to happen there. We get to play a card. So what do we have in her hand? Uh, several things. We can destroy one ongoing or environment card. Uh, why don't we keep the raptors? Let's keep the obsidian field as well. So I don't think I want to do that. Give us some more cards. Reduce damage dealt by the environment. Okay. And then this one, uh, impromptu invention. Draw a card. Why don't we try that one? So we're going to try this invention card. First thing we do, it's a one shot. We get to draw a card. Uh, stun bolt. Then what do we do? Search your deck for an equipment card and either put it into play or your hand and then shuffle your deck. Put it into play or your hand and then you may play a card. So you're gonna get to play two cards for the turn I think. Or no, no, we played this one, then we're going to get to play another one, that's right. All right, well, we got to find a piece of equipment here. All right, I've gone through Wraith's deck, and I found a piece of equipment that I'd like for her to have. It's the utility belt, and it lets you use an additional power during the power phase. So that might allow us to make some use of that uh, infrared device that we have. <clears throat> So, still going along here, we can put this card in our hand or into play. Let's go ahead and put it into play, and then we get to play a card. And I haven't really looked at this yet. Stun Bolt. The Wraith deals one target, one projectile damage until the start of your next turn. Reduce all damage dealt by that target by one. Okay, so that's where we get the the use of this thing, right? Damage dealt minus one. Okay. Well, I guess we might as well go ahead and play that card as well. And then this card will go into the trash. Well, it's um, power time. Time to use a power, but thanks to the utility belt, we're going to be able to do two powers. It's kind of like the legacy ring, isn't it? Well, let's... Let's make our attack first here. Uh, one target, three projectile damage. That's going to boost the damage done by, by the, uh, the razors by two. So that's going to be five damage, six damage. Obsidian field is seven damage, a total of seven damage to a target. 
Well, we can't target the Baron, but we can sure target his defense platform and destroy it. So let's do that. So that's out. For her next power, I think I want to try this one. Reveal the top two cards of the villain deck and put one of them on top of the villain deck and the other on the bottom. And then we get to draw a card. Let's try it. All right, so here we go. Top two cards of the villain deck. <clears throat> We have our buddies, the battalion, or blade battalion. We've, uh, they were, uh, raptor nuggets, weren't they? <laughs> and then we have Hasten Doom. What is this one? Baron Blade deals each hero target to toxic damage. And then you play another card on top of, uh, from the top of the villain deck. Well, that one seems to be worse, I think. I think the Raptors might be able to take out these guys, possibly. So let's uh, let's put this one on top, and we'll put Hasten Doom on the bottom. So Blade Battalion on top, and Hasten Doom. We'll put that on on the bottom, and then I think uh, Wraith here gets to draw another card just for her hand throat jab that's a one shot and I guess the target you hit cannot deal damage until the start of your next turn alright pretty good turn for Wraith you know even though these cards had her draw a new card here and there, she still gets to go through her regular draw a card part of the turn. I nearly forgot. Got another one of these. Trust Fund. Draw four cards, then discard two. Well, here's the guy. Absolute zero. We've got this one out, which uh, when he takes cold damage, he heals. I think we got a bunch of cards in our hand. And uh, we do have another pair of those. And whenever Absolute Zero is dealt fire damage, Absolute Zero deals one target that much cold damage. Maybe that's the good one to, to put out now. So as we move into his turn, uh, we still don't have a good way of dealing damage to the Baron because the Baron has that device up there that will mess with any kind of elemental damage, cold, fire, lightning, and all of that. We still have to destroy that. So what are we going to do? Why don't we get this one down? <clears throat> this will allow us to manage uh, fire damage also. That's another one absolute zero has to deal with I guess on a regular basis so got something for fire got something for cold and that's his card that's going to be played for the turn for his power we don't have a power on a card so we're going to go for his power on his uh, player card deals himself one fire damage or one cold damage Well, let's, uh, let's think about that. Let's think about that. How could I use this? When he's dealt fire damage, he deals one target that much cold damage. So if I wanted to do one fire damage to absolute zero, and then that damage would be boosted to two, obsidian field would make that three fire damage. I could change that over into an attack and attack the Baron's device for three cold damage instead, bringing it down to two. Or I could try to concentrate on healing absolute zero with this one. So I can deal one 
cold damage to myself. And if I did that, that would be one, two, three damage, and he would heal that many HP. Uh, I guess that is what I'll do. I'll have him heal that many HP. I'll, I'll just do that for now. We'll play it safe. So he's going to three uh, heal three hit points of damage. So he's at, what, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. We'll put him at 17 hit points. So absolute zero is in pretty good shape. Um... Draw a card. Got another one of these. And I guess that will do it for absolute zero. On to the environment. Well, I nearly forgot, thanks to the adhesive foam grenade played by Bunker, um, we don't have to worry about environment cards this turn being played. We just have to deal with the ones that are already out. So. Good job, Bunker. That one's going to keep us from getting anything else bad coming out. The Raptors. Um, we're going to move to the end of the environment turn, and this card will deal the non-environment target with the lowest HP that many melee damage. Well, that is Baron. That's Baron. So the Baron is, uh, with his defense platform smashed, uh, the Raptors leap on the Baron and attack, doing uh, how much damage? It's going to be the number of Velociraptor packs in play times 2. So 2 times 1 is 2, but that's going to be boosted by the Obsidian Field to three damage. That's enough to take out the Baron. All right, well, the Baron uh, is defeated, but is he? It says, when Baron Blade would be destroyed, flip Baron Blade's villain character card instead. Baron Blade. 30 hit points. Vengeful Mad Scientist. So I guess we need to turn this over. Vengeful Mad Scientist. When flipped to this side, restore Baron Blade to 30 hit points. Then put the villain trash on top of the villain deck. The villain trash on top of the villain deck. Put all three copies of the mobile defense platform into the villain trash and shuffle the villain deck. At the end of the villain turn, Baron Blade deals the hero target with the highest HP, H energy damage, where H is 4, because that's how many heroes we're playing with. <clears throat> Alright, so he is not out. He is just angry. Perhaps we have destroyed his, uh, his laboratory, because I don't think... I don't think this uh, Terra Lunar Beam is going to function anymore. So I think now it's just a, uh, a battle to the end as he's hopped in this some sort of armored suit. So we're going to have to continue to deal with Baron Blade a little bit more, but let's, uh, let's pull out those defense platforms and shuffle our deck. All right, we've reshuffled our deck over here. We've got him at 40 hit points. And we've got the three defense platforms uh, going into the trash. So, that does that. Well, Baron Blade is back. He's got his second wind here. Uh, let me know if you saw any errors, made any mistakes. I'll try to correct them if I can. And uh, let me know any strategy or tips you may have. I will catch you again soon for some more Sentinels of the Multiverse. Thanks, everybody.